In this video, we'll take a look at the type of reaction for KOH plus H2SO4, potassium hydroxide and sulfuric acid. So the first thing we need to really recognize here is that when we have an OH and it's bonded to a metal like potassium, this is the hydroxide ion. So this is going to be a base. We should also note we have a hydrogen in front of the compound here. We're thinking acid. This is actually one you need to memorize, H2SO4, sulfuric acid. So we have an acid and a base. They come together, neutralize each other. We get a salt, K2SO4, and we get water, this liquid water here. So we have an acid and a base neutralizing to form a salt. That's considered a neutralization reaction. Something like this here, HCl plus NaOH, gives us NaCl plus H2O. Neutralization reaction. It's also considered a double displacement reaction. Let's take a look at why. So the potassium and the hydrogen, those are the positive ions, they're going to switch places. So the potassium starts out with the OH, but it ends up with the sulfate right here in the potassium sulfate. And the hydrogen, it starts out with the sulfate, it ends up with the OH. HOH, that's H2O. So this is also a double displacement reaction. Let's take a moment, write the states in, and balance the equation. So strong bases are aqueous, they dissolve in water. Strong acids are also aqueous, they dissolve and dissociate. Potassium compounds, very soluble, right, AQ, and water is a liquid. So those are the states. If we want to balance it, we can see we have two potassiums here and just one here. Let's put a two here. Now we have two hydrogens plus two hydrogens, that's four hydrogens. If we put a two here, two times two gives us four hydrogens. Everything else is balanced. So that's the balanced equation for KOH plus H2SO4. This is Dr. B with the type of reaction for potassium hydroxide plus sulfuric acid. It's both a neutralization and a double displacement reaction. Thanks for watching.